He is known for his reappraisal of aesthetics, which is seen as a key moment in the development of aesthetic philosophy. He is recognized for developing the concept of aesthetics as the study of good and bad taste in art, linking it with beauty. His name is Alexander Gottlieb Baumgarten. In the bustling streets of 18th century Europe, a young philosopher by the name of Alexander Gottlieb Baumgarten embarked on a journey that would forever change the landscape of aesthetic philosophy. Born into a world where art was becoming a commodity for the nouveau riche, Baumgarten saw a pressing question arise, what defines good art? Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Baumgarten delved into the realm of aesthetics, redefining its meaning from a mere sensibility to a study of good and bad taste. He recognized that art had the power to evoke emotions and transcend the mundane, but he sought to establish a framework to distinguish between the beautiful and the mediocre. Baumgarten's quest for a universal understanding of aesthetics sparked intense philosophical debates. By giving birth to the concept of good and bad taste, he provided a foundation for objective discussions about the value of art. His pioneering work laid the groundwork for future thinkers to explore the intricate relationship between beauty, perception, and artistic expression. Alexander Baumgarten, a philosopher of the 18th century, revolutionized the concept of aesthetics. He appropriated the word aesthetics, which had always meant sensation, to instead mean taste or the sense of beauty, giving it a new significance. In his work, Baumgarten redefined taste as the ability to judge according to the senses, rather than relying solely on intellect. He believed that such judgments of taste were based on feelings of pleasure or displeasure. For Baumgarten, a science of aesthetics would involve deducing the principles of artistic or natural beauty from individual taste. He saw this as a way to understand and appreciate the inherent beauty in the world around us. Baumgarten's motivation for developing this idea may have been a response to the belief, put forth by Pierre Bonhours in the late 17th century, that Germans were incapable of appreciating art and beauty. Baumgarten's philosophy on aesthetics has profound implications for our daily lives. By recognizing that our senses play a crucial role in our perception of beauty, we can cultivate a greater appreciation for the world around us. Instead of solely relying on intellect, we can tap into our senses to experience and judge the beauty that surrounds us. This understanding allows us to find pleasure and meaning in the simplest of things, whether it be the sight of a blooming flower or the taste of a delicious meal. In essence, Baumgarten's work reminds us to embrace our innate ability to appreciate beauty through our senses. By doing so, we can find joy and fulfillment in the aesthetic experiences that enrich our lives. Baumgarten's redefinition of aesthetics not only changed the way we understand beauty but also offers us a valuable tool for navigating the complexities of our daily existence. Alexander Gottlieb Baumgarten, a prominent philosopher in the 18th century, made significant contributions to the field of aesthetics. However, his ideas were not without controversy and criticism. In 1781, Immanuel Kant dismissed Baumgarten's aesthetics, stating that it could never contain objective rules or principles of natural or artistic beauty. But nine years later, Kant himself adopted Baumgarten's definition of aesthetics in his critique of judgment. He embraced the notion that aesthetic judgment is subjective, based on internal feelings of pleasure or displeasure rather than qualities inherent in external objects. This marked a shift in the understanding of aesthetics. Despite Kant's endorsement, Baumgarten's ideas faced further criticism. In 1897, Leo Tolstoy, in his work What is Art, openly criticized Baumgarten's book on aesthetics. Tolstoy opposed Baumgarten's concept of a trinity of good, truth, and beauty, arguing that these words lacked a clear meaning and hindered the understanding of existing art. Tolstoy believed that good, truth, and beauty were separate entities that could even oppose one another. While Baumgarten's theory of aesthetics had its limitations, he played a crucial role in shaping German aesthetics. According to Frederick Kopelston, Baumgarten extended the philosophy of Christian Wolff to new territories and demonstrated the legitimacy of philosophical analysis beyond abstract logical reasoning. Baumgarten's ideas continue to be relevant today as we grapple with the subjective nature of aesthetic judgment. His work reminds us that our perception of beauty is deeply personal and influenced by our internal feelings. Understanding and appreciating the complexities of aesthetics can enrich our daily lives, allowing us to engage with art and beauty in a more thoughtful and meaningful way. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.